Which our next guest is the former CEO of the PGA Tour and the new president of NBC Sports Group. Pete Bavacqua is a 1993 grad from the College of Arts and Letters and is joining us here on the Notre Dame Day Hotline. Pete, welcome to our show. No, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be on. Pete, you were with the PGA Tour since 2012. What prompted you to accept this new role with NBC? Well, just one minor correction. So I was the CEO of the PGA of America. We're, we're okay. closely aligned organizations, but slightly different. Uh, and I loved it. I absolutely had a wonderful six years at the PGA of America. But when this opportunity came to me, the ability to go to work for an iconic brand in NBC and NBC Sports, but yet in an industry that is changing so rapidly, the media industry and the sports industry and sports relationship to media, I just loved the idea that I could be a part of trying to figure out a strategy for NBC Sports to, to take us well into the future. And also, having been so involved for golf for, for boy, almost two decades uh, at that time, the ability to go in and to be involved in so many sports, including the Olympics and the NHL and the NFL, uh, everything we do around horse racing and NASCAR, and then uh, obviously still having a, a big interest in golf with the golf events we cover and our ownership of the Golf Channel. And then, of course, the icing on the cake was the relationship with Notre Dame and Notre Dame football. Now, you graduated with a bachelor's in English from Notre Dame. You went on to get a law degree from Georgetown. How did this educational background help you get to where you are today? Well, certainly, I mean, my four years at Notre Dame were, were some of the very best years of my life. And the interactions with the professors and my fellow students and friends and just the power of, of the Notre Dame family. Uh, you realize that more and more uh, as you go out from Notre Dame and enter into your professional life. I mean, there are people from Notre Dame, fellow alums, looking out for you each step along the way. And so that really uh, has continued to pay uh, dividends for me, and I think I've returned the favor by always looking to create connections with, with Notre Dame students and recent graduates. But I think the combination of the English degree and uh, how I was trained in that regard, coupled with a law school education from Georgetown and thinking uh, about problems and problem solvings with the benefit of a law degree, I think in my world now it really is a pretty good combination of how to be trained how to interact with people, how to form a strategic plan and identify priorities. And you know, that's seven years of a great education with the four at Notre Dame and the three at Georgetown. And I think I just came uh, out of that time really prepared to, to enter into some professional challenges and to kind of navigate what has been so far, a, a, and luckily for me, an exciting career. People are well aware of NBC's relationship with Notre Dame when it relates to the football program, a relationship that dates back to 1991. But it's really much more than that, and it's growing. There's a lot of hockey involved, other programming, and I know that Jack Swarbrick met with you guys and other staffers on both sides uh, probably about four or five, maybe six weeks ago to talk about using Notre Dame as kind of a lab to innovate in terms of what you do uh, with broadcasting, maybe even, say, with your NFL package. And you did some very unique things during the Blue Gold game this year. Talk about that a little bit. Well, you're right. It is a special relationship. And when you look at the college football landscape, the Notre Dame-NBC relationship really redefined what that could be. And I was a student at Notre Dame when the, when the uh, NBC partnership began. And, you know, Jack has become a, a, a very good friend and is somebody who I admire so much. And when you think about the outstanding work he has done at Notre Dame, it really is uh, pretty, pretty amazing. But because we have this tried and true partnership and because there's such a level of trust, we're really able to experiment and to push the envelope. And this goes back to a conversation right when I started at NBC Sports, Jack and I, went out to dinner one night 
and just were talking, and Jack really implored me to to feel that we could utilize Notre Dame as as a test lab for what we could do around football and what we could do around other sports. And again, I think that goes back to trust because Jack knows how I feel about the university, how NBC feels about the university, that we would never do anything to jeopardize that trust, never do anything to ever compromise the reputation of the university. But that gives you a certain amount of uh, freedom and a certain ability to really, as I said, push the envelope. So as we had this brainstorming session a few weeks ago, our producer, Rob Hyland, who handles our Notre Dame productions and is involved with so much of what we do in other sports, just started talking about these interesting ideas we could do with line of scrimmage cameras and end zone cameras and how we could depict and bring a football game to life in a way that hasn't been done by anybody at any level of football. And, you know, not only do we want to make a splash with that at Notre Dame, and we tested it out at the Blue Gold game and had a, a really overwhelmingly positive response, but I think it is something we'll start to incorporate into our Sunday night football coverage. And when you can use uh, the, the uh, wonderful university like Notre Dame and rely on that relationship, and also I can't talk enough about you know, Rob Kelly and the work that Notre Dame Media has done. And if you were to ask our great producers here, the, the welcoming we get at Notre Dame, the things we're able to do because you have such great talent out there each and every day on campus, it makes our life easier and allows us to take some more risks and hopefully uh, really uh, unearth some exciting ways to bring the great game of football to, uh, to a national and international audience. Well, Pete, as an employee of Fighting Irish Media myself, I know how important this relationship is to us at Notre Dame and Fighting Irish Media. And our staff is very excited about expanding this relationship and the many projects that we work on together. So it's been great having you on the show, hearing about your new role at NBC, and excitedly looking to the future for both of our organizations. Well, thanks so much for having me on, and I can't wait to get back to campus. We look forward to it. Thank you, Pete.